Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna look at a Subaru Specialized Tool from Astro Pneumatic. This is the 78620 Subaru Ball Joint Puller. Any of you that worked on Subarus, especially those from up north, or having any rust on them know how much of a pain it can be to remove ball joints. Not just the ball joints, but the pinch bolt that holds them in. As you can see, I was working on the uh, 2007 Outback 2.5i Limited SUS, the sedan Outback. And uh, there is our pinch bolt. I uh, snapped it off, which is pretty common to do. Uh, normally people will line drill this and put a bolt, a longer bolt and a nut on the backside to correct this issue. I've never had any luck extracting these bolts once they break off. Uh, but I used my Mac RBRT extractors, drilled a hole straight through, and I was finally able to, for the first time ever, extract one of these bolts. So got it out without tearing up the thread. So I've got to find a new pinch bolt, but we'll be good to go back together. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking about this Astro Pneumatic tool for actually getting the ball joint out once you've gotten here. Uh, this car was quite rusted. I've seen way worse than this, so honestly, I probably could have got it out without this tool. Uh, but for the price, I think it was about $24 or $25 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description of the video. I also have it in my Amazon storefront. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use it right now to extract this ball joint uh, from the steering knuckle on the 2007 Outback. So you've got this little uh, threaded collar here. One end threads on the stud of the ball joint where the castle nut goes. Get that on there. Then you've got a threaded rod inside of this puller. I'm gonna put this in here. And we'll turn this on down. like uh, we are threaded all the way down. So we're gonna put that, position this uh, over the outside of our ball joint for our nut on here, which is 24 millimeters. I'll run this on down. I know it's off a of frame right now. Go ahead and run that down like so. And we'll go ahead and get the old uh, rattle gun out. This time we're going to be using the Milwaukee M18 Compact. And uh, let her go. Boom. Ooh, that was, uh, that was a good one. Did you see all those rust chunks come out of there? Look at there. Makes the job effortless. And uh, man, we got a lot of rust. Sorry for the camera shake. I'm out here on the, uh, the little ramp I've got going into my little building here. Uh, but man, that is a lot of rust and crust and junk. Uh, it probably would have taken forever to beat that ball joint out the old way. And the normal way I do it is uh, I usually take a pry bar, leave the ball joint bolted into the control arm, take the pinch bolt out, and uh, start uh, prying on it and hammering on it and hope I get it loose. But uh, this one probably would have gave me a run for my money. Let me get this old ball joint off of the adapter real quick. I'm going to take a little bit better look at it. Whoop. The camera will focus for us. Uh, there you can see how rusty and crusty and just disgusting that ball joint was. 
really good and well stuck in that spindle. As I said, it's a really common issue on northern Subarus uh, just due to road conditions and the way that that's press fit in there with the pinch bolt. Uh, it gets locked in there with corrosion over the years. Uh, so as you saw in real time, real demonstration on a real rusty Subaru. This wasn't anything fixed. This wasn't anything set up. Uh, this was my first time using the tool. Astro Pneumatic did not sponsor this video. They did not send me the tool. I purchased it myself on Amazon. Uh, just because I've been wanting a ball joint extractor for Subarus, I've rarely ever needed one being here in the South. As I said, it's more of an issue with Northern cars, but I get Northern cars every once in a while, as you see from this one. This one uh, spent its time, uh, most of its life up North and uh, you know, that made a very difficult job, very quick and very easy on this Outback. And uh, you know, that's what specialty tools like this are really for. Uh, you might not use it every time you open your toolbox. You might only use it two or three times in your career, but if it can take a three or four hour headache and condense it down to 60 seconds, it's well worth the money, especially being this one's only about 25 bucks if I recall correctly. So. Don't know if we're gonna have time today to pull out the other ball joint and extract it. Uh, I might go ahead and do that just to show you a second shot. Uh, probably have to film that later on. It's getting dark on me. And again, I gotta get pinch bolts. I might as well go ahead and get a second pinch bolt uh, for that knuckle because I know it's gonna snap off if this one did uh, because both of them look just as crusty. Uh, so probably gonna go ahead and start on that one and uh, we'll put that in here now you throw your impact on there and let her eat And out comes that rusty, disgusting Subaru ball joint that's notorious for rotting into the knuckle. I'd love to go ahead and install the new ball joint, but again, I don't have that new uh, pinch bolt. So uh, can't bolt her in there. But again, here's another comparison uh, between the ball joint that came out of it and a new Subaru ball joint. Uh, you have the boots missing. It was tore all to pieces and they ended up burning most of it and uh, ripping it off and tossing it while I was torching this, trying to get that pinch bolt out of there. Uh, but yeah, world of difference between the new and the old. Super crusty, super rusty. So yeah, Astro Pneumatics Subaru ball joint puller. Works like a charm. Will it work on every single one? Don't know, did it work in this case? Absolutely. Uh, so like I said, it's definitely worth the 25 bucks if you wanna get one yourself. Uh, as I said earlier, I'll put the link in the description of the video where you can purchase uh, this tool. Uh, so probably gonna go ahead and end the video now. We don't really need to see another one pulled out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.